Hi, I'm Megan Camelander, and we're reporting live from the Sibley County Fair. Hi, this is... Dennis Van Morlaham. I'm president of the fair board here. What's all going on today? We're going to have our bake and take taste that's going on right now, right next to us. And then tonight we're going to have an enduro race. It starts at 7 o'clock. We're going to go check out the bake and taste. They might even give you some samples. Tell them Van said to give you a sample. We're here at the bake and taste and we're going to interview... Barbaning. How's the baking taste going this year? Oh, it's excellent. This is probably the best baking taste contest that we have had. This year we have 45 entries, and otherwise it's been smaller than that. The judges are now judging the cookies, and I don't know how the judges pick uh, one favorite because there's so many cookies. We're talking with one of the judges now, and let's see what she thought of the cookies. Well, first of all, I think there's a very nice assortment of cookies. There's 46 entries, and, um, oh, they all look pretty good. <laughs> we're not done judging yet, but we're starting the tasting now. So, How many categories are there? There's only one category for the bacon taste, and this year it's oatmeal cookies. Uh, last year it was quick breads, and I was actually a judge for last year's um, bacon taste, and I got to taste about 25, 26 different types of quick breads, and I can tell you those judges are having some awfully hard decisions to make because they're all really good. What's your personal kind of favorite cookie? Okay, my personal choice would probably be either a sugar cookie or a chocolate chip. Oh, I like a uh, chocolate chip. A chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. A chocolate chip frosted oatmeal cookie. I like all kinds of cookies. A cinnamon chip raisin oatmeal cookie. Oh, I think macadamia nut. Chocolate chip. The oatmeal, because uh, you can dunk it in coffee and then you can eat it and it tastes a lot better that way. I know chocolate chip. Packet. Sugar. Snickerdoodle. Oatmeal and, and chocolate cookies. Oh, I like all varieties. Well, I like them all, but I think chocolate chip probably is the best one, too. Fifth place is Doris Martins from Baylor. Fourth place is Ann Branke from Henderson. Third place is Cindy Belger from Henderson. Second place is Sandy Birds from Henderson. And first place is Crystal Bodie from Kevin. I'm Crystal Bodie and I won first place in the bacon contest. Who sponsors the bacon thing or my dear? <laughs> uh, Lesur Cheese Company from Lesur, Minnesota. So we really appreciate their um, time and they also bring us uh, cheese to taste so I would like you girls to help yourself. We really appreciate their sponsoring our bacon taste contest. Good. Here's all the exhibits in the 4-H exhibit barn. see the clouds swirling up there and, and cars started pulling over the side of the road and so we thought oh we'll pull over and suddenly this baby came down and actually wound up progressing from right to left there went through that grove and ripped trees around and stuff oh <laughs> where is this a small tornado little baby one what did you enter I entered that Tommy Jean up there with the white shirt what should you keep in mind when shopping for clothes definitely sales <laughs> what's this fabric um, this is corduroy with fleece lining. It looks really nice and thanks for the interview. Thank you.
This is Lucas Yaver reporting for KGFW, and we're at the Sibley County Fair. We're going to check out the free corn feed. Let's interfe- interview some people. We're here talking with... Daryl. How many years have you guys been doing the corn feed? You know, we're not real positive on that. I think it's like 10 to 12 years, something like that. It's been quite a while. It's been pretty popular, too. We get a lot of turnout. We usually feed from, from uh, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock and uh, get a steady crowd all the time. We get uh, eight 55-gallon barrels of sweet corn from the, from the canning factory down here and put it in a, an old bulk tank with uh, the boiling water, of course, and then take care of it from there. Thanks for the interview, Daryl. We're going to go check out the free corn. Excuse me, have you had any chance to try some of the corn? No, I have not. Not yet. I've been too busy holding down the plate. So. And this is Arthur Forrest. Did you like the sweet corn? It's very good. <laughs> and this is Aaron Bruins. Did you like the sweet corn? Excellent. And this is Johanna Fice. Did you like the sweet corn? Yeah, it's good. And this is Myla Quast. Did you like the sweet corn? I sure did. I just find out how much corn they serve they serve so far. Corn research. How much corn you today? I imagine about a ton. Hi, I'm Megan Camelander and I'm here with... Bruce Ponath. So I hear you're winning the dunk tank. Dunk tank. Are you ready for it? I don't know. I heard the water is pretty cold. <laughs> it's a warm day. It'll feel okay. Okay. Well then, uh, you know, I maybe it uh, be quite refreshing to get in there then. Yeah. So what TV station do you work for? Um, KGFW. Oh. We're here with the Sibley County Royalty. What's your name? Ali Beerstead. Shana Yonke. Signe Swenson. Congratulations and good luck hitting, hitting the sheriff. Tell us how you did on hitting the sheriff. <laughs> With my good aim. Um, I just have really strong shoulders and arms to do a massage, so I just tried to hit it as hard as I could. I had to stand really close in order to hit him. That's my secret. <laughs> Reporting for KGFW, interviewing Holly Ernst, Mrs. Minnesota 2003. What was it like being crowned for Miss Minnesota? Well, it was very exciting, and it was kind of a, a lot of different emotions. I'd worked really hard for it, and I put in a lot of time and effort and energy, and my husband actually put the crown on my head, so that was pretty neat. And I remember thinking, the first thing I thought was how heavy this banner is. So if you want to feel it, feel free, because it's pretty thick. It is pretty thick, isn't it? So it was pretty exciting. Who is your role model? My role model, I don't necessarily have just one. There are a few. Um, number one, Patty Wetterling is a huge role model for me. Her son Jacob was abducted, and as a result, she has gone across the state of Minnesota and created um, a foundation called the Jacob Wetterling Foundation, which is to educate young children about how to stay safe so that they don't get abducted like her son Jacob was. So she's been a great inspiration and role model for me. And my mom, she was a great role model. I know we all look up to our moms, and hopefully we do what they say and clean our rooms and do all that good stuff. But my mom was a great role model for me as well. What advice would you give to a girl wanting to enter the pageant? I would say don't give up because the first pageant that I entered, I didn't win. And I didn't win the second one either. I finally won the third one and that took three years. So when you have a dream and you have a goal, sometimes it takes a long time to realize that goal. So I would say keep, keep trying and don't ever give up and dream big, you can do it. We're now visiting the University of Minnesota Extension Service Food. Sibley Community Technology Centers. There are technology centers located in Green Isle, Henderson, Gaylord, Gibbon, Arlington, and Winthrop, New Auburn, and LeSueur. I'm Dan Fawning. What was you in um, the fourth place? This is a WSC Third. CA Open oh, Game Show. Oh, yes, uh, indeed. We have to go to three weaving, places. Barrel racing. Good job. 
Uh, right around basic, basically game events. Uh, on deck 171. There's probably 60 head of horses here. Uh, this is the biggest show Sibley County has ever had. Um, the reason for it is we have a about we have $400 added that the sheriff's posse puts in um, as a jackpot payout, and they come as far as we got some from Delano, Maple Lake. Um, we had a trailer come in last night from Ellsworth, Wisconsin, and a lady from nice this area gen normally who is now in Nebraska drove up just for the show. Anywhere on from three to 70 year old. There's some guys that show that are in their 70s, and there's kids as young as one, two, three years old. Okay. Words of advice for someone if for their first horse show is just to have fun. It's not about winning, really. It's all about fun. It's a family event, so. Let's watch where you're walking. 12.9. My name is ba Joe Cotton, and my horse's name is Banjo. My name is Danny Steen, I'm from Arlington, and my horse's name is Chance. My favorite part about the horse show is running the barrels. <laughs> my name's um, Megan, and this is my horse I'm named Bullet. My favorite part of the horse show is showing. We are here at the Sibley County Fair, and we get to go check out a demo derby. And my dad's in it. Hey, I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to the 2003 Sibley County Fair Demolition Derby. Uh, my name is Pat Ediger. I'll be doing the announcing up here from the roof today. Uh, there's about 50 cars signed in. They're going to have four heat races. Then they'll go to a consolation heat race for the ones that don't make the championship. And then we'll take the top two or the top four cars out of that consolation and put those into the championship race. Uh, the idea is to be the last car running. Uh, when everybody else is done and can't move and there's still one car running, uh, that's the car that wins the championship. So that's kind of the slate of the whole overall picture of the thing. Demo Derby, how was it? Quite a rush. <laughs> Is there any times you get scared out there? No, it's just not no more. This is my 19th year of doing this, and there's no scaredness about it. What do you think of the condition of your car? Oh, well, I wish it was worse. I don't know. I gotta wait till tomorrow and get it home, and I'll see if I can use it again. But it ain't as bad as I'd like it to be. So. After every demo, if the motor is still good, do you use it again in a different car? Yes. <laughs> Where does all these people get these cars from? Generally junkyards, but otherwise you're always... If you're driving down the road and you see one, you stop and ask. Because 
the, the these big full size cars are they're like dinosaurs. They're getting extinct. You know, they're they're running out every year. People smash them and wreck them, and they're just getting less and less of them all the time. What's your favorite part about the county fair? Now I'm getting a cheeseburger before I go home. Oh. Besides the demo, <laughs> I gotta go have a cheeseburger. Thanks, Dad. My name is Kendra Lang, and we are here with Corey Carpenter. What's your favorite part about uh, a demo? Smashing up the cars. How many years have you been doing it? Uh, four. Ever, ever since you've gotten in the demo racing, have you ever been a scared? Nope. What's your favorite memory? Today, winning. Can we see? Can we see your trophy? Come here, Sammy. This is Katie Johnson reporting for KGFW, and this is Susan Allen. Hi, my name is Bob Katie. What's your favorite part about having demo derbies at the raceway? Watching him get muddy. Watching the people in the grandstand get excited about the guys crashing their cars up. How many people do you think were at the derby today? Probably about 1,200 people. Probably everybody in Sibley County, because that's where they should have been if they didn't make it, because it was a great demo, wasn't it? Yeah. Can we come back again and visit sometime? Certainly. Come on back uh, during the races on Saturday night. Every Saturday night at the Arlington Raceway and every Sunday night at the Redwood Speedway. Thanks a lot, and have a great day. This is Megan Camlander, and we're interviewing Danny Wilczek. What kind of animals do you have here today? Um, we have cats, we have sheep, we have dogs, um, ducks, goats, and a cow. We're going to go check them out. Alright. Here's a baby ram. What's your favorite baby animal? Oh, it has to be the dogs. Mine too. Hi, I'm Re I'm Brady Krieger reporting for KGFW and this is Katie Johnson. Is this your own duck? Yes. How many years have you raised ducks on your own? One. Is it hard? Yes. You have to get up at like 8 o'clock in the morning to get them outside. Have you won any prizes with these? A blue ribbon. How many different kind of animals do you think there are at the fair? Um, I'd have to say around 20. Christina Stoddard and I'm here at the Sibley County Fair. Today is Saturday, the day of the uh, open class dairy show. And I'm with my four cows right here. This one is Mandy. The big one standing is Fireball. The two little ones, the first one's Parker, and the last one is Maggie. Um, the two small ones were fall calves. This is a two-year-old cow, and this is an advanced cow The right hardest here. part about raising these cattle is probably the time it takes you have to put into getting good animals, the feeding, the care. Uh, my favorite part about raising cows is probably just the outcome. You get to look back and see what all your hard work has gone for. My quality help right here is my dad, Greg, and my brother, Tony. <laughs> Amy, you're playing for KGFW, and this is... Rachel Siebert. What'd you bring to the fair? All animals I have here are sheep, 
And I bring like clothing projects and cat projects and flower gardening and home environment. That's about it. What's the hardest thing about taking care of sheep? Um, basically like problems that go wrong with it, like they can get sick easily and you know, and then the shearing process, that takes a long time too. They gotta be cooperative and you gotta be patient with them. What's your favorite bar part about having sheep? Well, sometimes it's like the bond that you get with your sheep. I don't know, I brought sheep up, sheep up to the state fair and you get kind of attached to them after a while, being with them so long. And I also like, you know, showing them and showing other people, you know, the outcome of my project, basically. My name is Joanna Forrest, and these are the pigs that I sh was showing at the fair. This one is a gilt, and that one's a barrel. I got fifth place with her and seventh place with the barrel. Hi, I'm Aaron Bruins, and these are my gilts and barrel. The gilt is Haley, and the barrel is Zach, and I got third place on both of them. My name is Arthur Forrest, and these are my pigs, Swank and Redsmith, that I'm showing at the fa at the Sibley County Fair this year. Giving them baths is really fun. What's your favorite part about the fair? Riding the rides and the cotton candy. I'd probably have to say snow cones and then watching a lot of my friends get the crown, so. Definitely riding the rides. I loved that when I was younger. Very first kiss was at a county fair, but I was much older than you are, so you just wait till you get that first kiss. So that is a favorite memory. For what us. is your favorite part about the Sibley County Fair? S seeing all the people all weekend long. Actually, Susan's fib, and I think she says the end of it because it's way too much work for her, but it's also a whole bunch of fun. Uh, I like the food. What's your favorite part about the Sibley County Fair? Seeing the animals and all the people here. This is Annette Jager. I like coming to the fair because my husband has all the goats here, so I enjoy seeing the animals and I like the milkshakes. Have you tried any of the sweet corn yet? No, I didn't get over to have any sweet corn. It sure smelled good. It looked good when some people came by with some, though. Brittany Peterson. Brian Carlson. Kelsey Turtle. And what was your favorite part about the fair? Showing my sheep. The food. The tacos. <laughs> As Mrs. Minnesota, I was at uh, the Canopic, I think is how you say it, County Fair in Mora, Minnesota, and I had a little girl ask me for my autograph in the bathroom. So I thought that was pretty funny. I got a kick out of that, and I gave it to her. So Johanna Utes. And what was your favorite part about the fair? I would have to say the horse show. I like horses. Hanging out with my friends, I guess, because I don't get to see some people from like different parts of the county all the time, so I get to see them here. The rides. Choose something or be the strawberry shakes. I agree with you. <laughs> Probably the experience. I don't know. Showing goats. <laughs> What's your favorite fair memory? Um, I would say when I was about your age, coming here and playing with my friends and hanging out. Used to, I grew up a lot. My dad is on the fair board here, so we spent a lot of time at the Sibley County Fair. We always had a lot of fun. You're watching Public Access Channel 7 and 8. This is Mrs. Minnesota, Holly Ernst, and you are watching Public Access Channel 7 and 8. You're watching the Sibley County Fair on Public Access 7 and 8. Thanks for watching Public Access Television Channel 7 and 8. We're watching, okay, give it to me again. You're watching Public Access Channel 7 and 8. <laughs> 